So the last application I want to show is called City Lens, our new augmented reality application that we launched essentially yesterday. And it provides a very easy and fast access to, you know, whatever category of information you're interested in. Let's again take the nearby option and let's switch now quickly because I haven't been able to get a position. I'm inside here. We have this device set up properly uh, to really go into uh, to go into uh, the. I don't have it on there. But you just had it. Yep. It's ah, here. Okay. So, um, okay. Where is it? Let's go here into that. Not just city lens. Okay. Now, um, you will be able to to obtain the information, and what you see is a visualization of the relevant information that is that is around you. And you didn't see anything because if you're on that side, there's a river and there's not much to see really in New Orleans here beyond the river, as it seems. But going there, you see the, the different locations that may be of interest. What you see here in the user interface, a little bit, you know, like a cluster of interesting locations. You click on it and it expands uh, with the locations of your interest. I think, again, clicking on one of those brings you back to what we call the place page, which we saw before with guide information, nearby recommendations, information, and of course you can calculate a route, post it or share it with somebody. But the interesting thing is that I want to show you is that we also start to experiment a lot how the user may interact with the location and context. So if I keep the device uh, like in a, in a landscape mode, it has the camera view, but if I want a more, a more reading person, I want to see a list view, I simply turn it around and it automatically goes into the list view with the little compass roses indicating which direction the individual location really is. Going back into the um, landscape mode, this may be good for pointing at thing, getting notion, but sometimes you want to have a more, you know, downward looking orientation sense of where the things really are relative to the other. The simple thing you do, you just put it into the horizontal mode, it goes into the map view automatically, mm. and you start to see how the locations that you just saw through the lens really orientate themselves in a mapping context. So I think this is something where we're experimenting a lot with users, really to give you a notion how does a user interact with location objects, whether he points at them and wants to seize them, he wants to be more in a reading context, and more, is more a reading person in a list view, or simply provided into a mapping context like looking from top. And we're watching closely how this interaction with these objects is working. I think you saw how this also blends nicely into the mapping experience that I showed you when we started with the beginning. Now, this is all live and active today. If you have a Lumia 900 or 800, you can download these, or 710, you can download all these applications out of the marketplace under the Nokia collection, install it, and they don't cost you any cents extra. And they work all globally, all global scope, city lens, public transport, where we have coverage, of course, drive, navigation, and mapping.